In this video, we'll look at the profile design for making entries for capital cost allowance on business statements and on the rental statement, the T776. CCA entries are made the same way on the T2125, the T2042, and the T1163 as examples, and on the rental statement, the T776. So let's go and look at the rental statement at T776 in profile and see what the implementation looks like. I'm on a 2021 T1. Uh, this implementation is the same in every year though. And if I look here, we've got the rental statement. If I scroll down, I've got some income and then I just put some common expenses like utilities. And then I, I get uh, an amount here for income after expenses. Now the thing is we want to add capital cost allowance. So if we look down here, an easy way to figure out where to make the entries for capital cost allowance is look for 9936. And I can go to the rental summary, capital cost allowance. Notice this is number one. So it's rental number one at the top here, T776 summary number one. And if I right click, just go over to an area here and right click, it show me two places where I can make entries. So if I have auto expenses, I can go to business auto, but we're looking in this video at the T776 CCA. If I click on that, it takes me to the T776 CCA screen. This is a profile screen and it keeps track of all the assets for this property. So if I look over at the left here, I've got the building and the fridge. So this is a summary for each asset and it's a profile form. You can see there's a slide bar so I can slide across the different assets. But what I've got is uh, a building that was purchased in a prior year and there's 90,000 left to take capital cost allowance on. If I scroll down, the capital cost allowance for the year will be this. And there's on this form a list for all assets. If I look up at the top here, it says, please enter uh, additions or dispositions in the tax year. So click on here. And I'm going to put in the head dryer. I can pick the CCA class I want. And then I can put the cost. So I register any assets purchased or disposed of in the year on this form. I look down here, it says it's going to add the asset to the dryer to the fridge asset. What profile is doing is adding all the same assets for a class together. So if I go back here, I can see the fridge is here from the prior year and then the new addition is here. Based on uh, CRA guidance, this is what's usually recommended. And I might just want this to change this to fridge and dryer or something like that, or assets. The other thing I can do is go back here. And if I don't want it there, if I want it separate, uh, just use the drop down and make a new class. And if I go back now to T776 CCA, I can see the new assets here and I can just type in dryer. So there's two options here. I can pool all the assets of the same class together or list them individually. Uh, by default, based on CRA guidance, profile lumps them together. I'm back on the uh, T776 CCA summary and it shows the entries that we made in the profile worksheets. If I scroll down, it also fills out the equipment. So the other sections of the uh, CRA CCA summary. And then if I go back to the T776 number one, and scroll down, I now have the amount on line 9936, as I would expect for CCA. And those are the screens affecting CCA in profile. I hope you found this video helpful. And for more support options, you can go to our website. It's profile.intuit.ca. And there's a support menu item there that has other support options.